please be seated. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful day to be back at in-person graduation in the Brighton Centre with our amazing graduates in the sunshine. As Vice-Chancellor, I would now like to welcome distinguished guests, graduates, and your friends and families. It gives me enormous pleasure to open this ceremony. Today is a truly special occasion. It's a deeply joyful occasion. Graduates, this is very much your day. It's a day to celebrate your achievements and to reflect on an important phase of your life that is coming to a close and to look to the future and your journey ahead. Now, given the last two years, it's been a really challenging journey. But you've made it. You're here. I'd like us to reflect and acknowledge the impacts of the pandemic, which continue, on families and friends, on the university and all my amazing colleagues, and on also on you, our graduates, who have persevered, adapted, and got through what is an extraordinary global event. But graduates, this is the time to look to the future. Graduation ceremonies are always the high point of the academic year, bringing together as they do your families and supporters with the academic and professional community of the university to support and celebrate your achievements. We know how hard you have worked to get here. You know how hard we've worked you to get here. We've challenged you, and you faced additional challenges through the pandemic, but you have made it. And today marks a culmination of all those efforts. As each of you crosses the stage, we mark that you become a graduate of the University of Brighton. And as you do, I hope you will feel as proud of us as we do of each and every one of you. Over this week's ceremonies, we've celebrated graduates aged 19 to 74, from 86 countries from across the world. The university is proud of the diversity of nations and backgrounds that make up our community, and long may it remain so. Now, graduates, whilst you are undoubtedly the stars of the show, there are some very important people with us today. On behalf of the entire university, I would like to thank your families, your friends and your supporters who have been there for you in so many ways while you have been with us. There are also on the stage and in the auditorium many of my colleagues my hugely dedicated and talented academic and professional services colleagues who have played a vital role in helping you get to this point, to helping you with your achievements. So now I'd like to ask one thing of you, please, graduates. Could I ask you to stand, please? I know within you is the opportunity now, with all that pent-up gratitude, to express your gratitude to your friends and your families and supporters and to the staff of the university. And I know that from a Brighton point of view, that can be quite a significant roar. So, time to say thank you and well done. Okay, so I think that's a bit of a warm-up. I know you can do better, and you know you can do better. So 
with a true Brighton roar. Shall we have another go at that? Excellent. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Graduates, today marks a significant personal milestone for each and every one of you. As you celebrate with your families and your friends and supporters, I also ask you to reflect on the fact that none of us ever stops learning. I hope you will carry what you've gained, the experience that you've gained while you've been with us, as you continue with your career or wherever life takes you. Today marks a beginning, not an end. And we look to all of you to realise your potential and to shape the future. You will do so as members of a university alumni network that provides a lifelong link to your fellow graduates and to the over 160,000 graduates alumni that have gone before you. This is a worldwide network. It provides advice, connections, and a valuable community of support for you to access in the years to come. Please don't forget to collect your alumni pin. And if you haven't already done so, please think about giving your contact details to the alumni team so that you can seek support from them. And in years to come, we can seek your wisdom to share with those that follow after you. We want to hear your stories. This week, we've celebrated two extraordinary Brighton graduates who have gone on to achieve astonishing success, one of whom you'll hear about later. In the time that you have studied, it's an underestimate to say much in the world has changed. And the role and value of universities is being questioned like never before. Our response is clear. Just look at our world-leading research. The recent Research Excellence Framework Assessment indicated the astonishing quality, uh, the world-leading quality of our research. Many of those colleagues are here with me today. Our overwhelming positive social and economic contribution, our crucial role in developing the professionals, the innovators, the leaders of the future, that's all of you. Graduates, all of you sitting here today are the best possible response to any cynicism about the positive impact of higher education in our society. For as much as we are living in a world full of uncertainties and challenges, it does still remain a world full of possibility and opportunity. And in such a world, the ability to combine knowledge with practice, together with qualities such as resilience and adaptability and creativity, are becoming even more important. And what I know of you, you have those qualities. These are the qualities that the society needs for the future. The university will continue to play its part, ensuring that our research, our knowledge exchange, our community engagement, our partnership work, our teaching, come together to allow our students to develop the practical wisdom they will need to thrive in the future. Graduates, yours is the future. Use what you have learnt as you go forward to make a positive difference and to help those around you. In doing so, I urge you to remember three things. Keep on learning. There will always be more to learn. There will always be people you can learn from and with and about. Believe in yourselves because we passionately believe in you and above all, stay curious. 
Curiosity opens opportunities. Curiosity opens doors. Curiosity creates new knowledge. And finally, I want to thank you for making the University of Brighton your university. You have all made a mark while you have been here. You've helped shape us. You will have learned, built memories and friendships that will last a lifetime. Carry those memories with you as you make your unique mark upon the future. Tell us of your journey. So from all of us at the University of Brighton, congratulations and thank you. We now come to the beginning of the presentation of awards. And I have a few simple instructions for everybody. So as you cross the stage, you will become a graduate of the University of Brighton. But in order to get across the stage in the right order, I would ask just one last time if you could just stick to the way we've put you in order. There's a lot of work that's gone into that, getting you in the right seat, in the right row, and it works like a dream, as long as everybody just sticks to that. Otherwise, it becomes a horrible car crash behind the scenes. This is being recorded. So in years to come, you'll be able to replay your graduation moment and the whole ceremony and watch your friends forever. We're also live streaming because we have families and supporters who can't physically be here today, but want to celebrate and share in your joy. Now, friends, family, supporters, you have a really important role to play in this ceremony. I sense that you have at least three years of pent-up joy ready to express. And that's a good thing. So when your graduate comes across the stage, Please feel free to express yourselves within the bounds of decency and the law. <laughs> so, with everybody's instructions in place, I'll call upon Professor Tamar Jeffers MacDonald, the Dean of the School of Art and Media, to present the graduates. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. School of Art and Media, degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Design for Digital Media, Joe Eggleston. <laughs> Alex Grimwood. <laughs> Samantha Hall. Alexandra Hoskins. Insu Kim. Chloe Morris. Harry Smith. Jordan Smith. Ben Sparrow. Kristlin Viznapu. Maisie Woodley. Ava Yarwood. <laughs> Digital Music and Sound Arts, Alfred Atwood. <laughs> S 
Stephen Bukic. Evan Davies. Wolfgang Dubeninich. Ben Hooper. Ethan Jones. Callum Kelly. Lee Oscar Kirchberger. Anna Lucia Needham McGuinness. James O'Brien. Noah Thompson. Esme Wright. Fashion Communication with Business Studies, Sarah Adicott. Hope Allsop. Bryony Bostwick. <laughs> Amelia Clark. <laughs> Ellie Clinkard. <laughs> also jointly awarded the Nagoya University Incentive Award, Lara Corsin. Sophia Cortis. Jasmine Cutts. Evie Epps. Jemima Farrow. Isabel Fox. Amy Georgie. Eleanor Hall. Lauren Hextel. Lily Hill. Ho Chan Michael Ho. Daisy Horn. Anna East Kalantaris. India Crisson. <laughs> Victoria Lindsay. <laughs> Amber Lloyd. <laughs> Miriam MacDougall. Gemma McKee. <laughs> Jennifer Mann. <laughs> Keris Matthews. <laughs> Emily Mobbs.
Hannah O'Sullivan. <laughs> Melissa Offer. <laughs> Ella Penny. <laughs> Macy Ricks. Yelena Royce. <laughs> Nicola Sartarus. <laughs> Terrell Service Johnson. <laughs> Farah Shaban. Jessica Shear. <laughs> Megan Siggers. <laughs> Lily Stimson. <laughs> Sophie Turner. Olivia Vanderveld. <laughs> Mia Washbrook. <laughs> Lara Webb. <laughs> Fashion with Business Studies. Lottie Allen. Hannah Andres Jeska. <laughs> Lucy Brockhurst. <laughs> Bear Cooper. <laughs> also jointly awarded the Governor's Prize, Serena Copping. Jessica David. <laughs> Ailish Duggan. <laughs> Isabel Giles. <laughs> Poppy Grundy. Sophie Jew. <laughs> Natalie Camber. <laughs> Jay Lentil. <laughs> Sheen Loy. Teo Panov. <laughs> Romilly Piggott. <laughs> Lucy Ratcliffe. <laughs> Joshua Samuels. Kitty Nan Wang Namong Me. Kitty Nan Wang Namong Me. Alice Wilson. Lily Wood. Film. Alexandra Andrews. Sherry Davis.
Francesca Di Ciuccio. Alfie Fenables. Helen Flight. Shanice Francis. Callum Hemming. Jack Lawrence. Alex Lemaitre. Chloe Malone. Bethany McIntyre. Lillian Neal. Anna Mika. Scarlett Plampton. Robbie Pusey. Duna Ri. Katie Simmons. Benjamin Whedon. Film and Screen Studies, Zara Clute. Isabella Levinsky Grend. Jake McCluskey. Shannon Morris. Eleanor Regule. Fine Art Critical Practice, Alice Everall. Holly Kemsley. Dimitra Leva. Lauren MacArthur. Eva Montague. Emily Montefiore. Lara Rosenthal. Ashley Wellen. Fine Art Painting, Thomas Alwinton. Shantae Badu. Naomi Boyko Stapleton. Gina Boyle. Cameron Davis. Daisy Dwyer. Clementine Eastwood. Riley Mae Fletcher. Anna Freeman. Tom
Tara Freeman. Also jointly awarded the Cass Art and Phoenix Studio Award, Megan Hack. <laughs> Pamela Harmer. Jung Yung Hong. <laughs> Ka Hee Jung. <laughs> Tamara Kluver Vasquez. <laughs> Oiku Cutler. Harriet Lloyd. <laughs> L. Lysett. <laughs> Isabel Malinchuk. <laughs> Amelia Naylor. Emily Parent one. Bill Redshaw. Archie Rogers. Claire Shakespeare. Freya South. Also jointly awarded the Cass Art and Phoenix Studio Award, Lydia Stonehouse. India Lily Terry. Ellis Thomas Pam. Alice Twamley. <laughs> Poppy Vinci Guerra. <laughs> Emily Wooten. <laughs> Fine art printmaking. Eloise Badger. Pallavi Devkota. <laughs> Nicholas Garrido Ibanev. <laughs> Wilhelmina Healy. <laughs> Daisy Herkelson. Sammy Jones. <laughs> Sophia Morton. <laughs> Georgie Payne. <laughs> Rowan Taylor. Also jointly awarded the Governor's Prize, Ottilie Winfield Velensky. Yeah. <laughs> Phoebe Winter. Yeah. Fine Art Sculpture, 
Claudia Ashton. <laughs> Isabel Ayres. <laughs> Alva Coyle. <laughs> Eleanor Drake. Georgia Hodian. <laughs> Isabella Holmwood. <laughs> Melanie Kane. <laughs> Elizabeth Ovens. Dylan Regnart. <laughs> Megan Ryan. <laughs> Noah Smith. <laughs> Beatrice Underwood. Games Art and Design, Rachel Ellis. <laughs> Ashley Toner. <laughs> Graphic Design, Iona Adair. <laughs> Carolina Alberti. Henry Bellis. <laughs> Lucy Biss. <laughs> Charlotte Blakey. <laughs> Aoife Bourne. Khalil Brown. Sebastian Buddenhagen. Rosie Bullock. Amelia Carey. Holly Castle. <laughs> Lee Ju Chang. <laughs> Carla Contini. <laughs> Benjamin Kirsten. <laughs> Jack. Dunn. <laughs> Chloe Edward. <laughs> Malak El Akhwal. <laughs> Rosie Flaherty. Issa Lynn Flo. Orlando Glendinning. Alison Grace. Christian Greaves. Lily Guy. Yeah. Jacob Henry. Yeah. Daniel Hill. Yeah. 
Anja Hutsunen. Ella Hunter. Felix Jeff. Joseph Killeran. Julia Kutas. Bo Kyung Kwon. Josie Lister. Elizabeth Lovegrove. Nancy Maddox. Chiara Malado. Nicole Mann. William Marsden. Joe Moore. Hannah Mullins. Amelia Nichols. Isabel Alero Caprani. <laughs> Catherine Onions. <laughs> Megan Osgood. <laughs> Maisie Osis. Samuel Polidano. Henry Rawlings. Maya Rohde. Callum Scanlon. Tallulah Smiley. <laughs> Stella Stotomeo Cox. <laughs> Emily Thompson. <laughs> Indira Varna O'Reilly. Miles Wood. Let's go! Also jointly awarded the Nagoya University Award for Excellence, GNU. <laughs> Illustration, Megan Abs. Shamima Ahmed. <laughs> Kirsty Artek. <laughs> Uma bin Mohammed Faizak. <laughs> Ella Bowden. Charlie Brew. Jesse Brockhill. Lauren Brooks Hall. Shu Yun Chang.
Shaz Chowdhury. Sarah Coltard. Also awarded the Nagoya University Grand Prize, Imogen Donegan. Zina El Sadi. Rebecca Furr. Esme Gardner. Elisabetta Goyan. Eva Gomez Lang. Ellie Gowley. Dong R. Julia Jolliffe. <laughs> Hannah Uica. <laughs> Megna Kaitwa. <laughs> Phoebe Lee. Xiao Fan Liu. Camilla Sharnos. Eva Marley. Marta Marine Asuna. Thomas Maguire. <laughs> Melitza Meljevic. <laughs> Alexandra Needham. <laughs> Jasmine Parker. Rosalind Penny. Agna Petrikita. Lucy Priddle. Brian Purvis. May Reynolds. <laughs> Isabel Real. <laughs> Amy Rochester. <laughs> Naomi Ross Masson. Vive Shamhong. <laughs> Peter Stanton. <laughs> Lauren Stevenson. <laughs> Bethany Simmons. Rafael Telka. <laughs> Aoife Tig. <laughs> Jessica Van Balen. <laughs> Daniela Warner.
journalism, Deanna Rowley. Angelina Sulanyaku. That concludes the first part of the presentations. Thank you. We now come to the presentation of our honorary graduate. Our honorary doctorate is the highest accolade the university can award. We give this carefully, thoughtfully, because this is our best, uh, best recognition for somebody who's made a significant contribution to our society. So I am delighted to invite Ermi Carlson to give the address to present our honorary graduate, Helen Kamak. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, graduates and graduates, families and friends, it is my honor to introduce Helen Kamak. When the university considers awarding honorary degrees, it seeks individuals who have not only pushed the boundaries of their field for the benefit of society, but who also reflect the values that are important to us at Brighton. Creativity, sustainability, partnership, and inclusivity. We are proud to honor today one of the most multi-talented artists to have studied at the University of Brighton. But we honor her not only for that talent. We honor her tireless commitment over two challenging careers, the ways she has given voices to unheard communities, and as a person whose work inspires us all to show empathy to seek understanding and to listen deeply to the world. Helen Kamuk is a visual poet, performer, photographer, musician, a filmmaker and much more. She was for many years a social worker in Brighton and is someone for whom social justice has been at the forefront of an energetic working life. Helen has celebrated the role of women in the civil rights movement in Derry, collecting oral histories in order to represent voices and experiences that have struggled to find their rightful historic place. Following the COVID-19 pandemic to encourage thoughts about empathy, Helen installed posters on the London Underground asking us to sit alongside and feel me breathe. A breath in crisis, the breath of the planet. Voice, breath, and sound. Helen's work and her life reflect her own empathy with and understanding of the voices of others. Not individual voices, but the ways our multiple voices interweave, showing the connections and the intersections between us. What does the voice do? What kind of shape can it take? How are some voices diminished or silenced? Helen Kamuk's rise to, rise to fame in the art world is, however, relatively recent. Despite her father being a ceramicist and art teacher, it was her sister who had the greater keenness for art in their younger years. Helen has said that she was more interested in playing football and climbing trees. Her first degree was in sociology at the University of Sussex, during which time she put a musical performance career on hold. Then, for 10 years, she was a busy and highly valued social worker here in Brighton. During that time, Helen discovered evening classes in photography and the University of Brighton's Saturday Art School. From there, she was inspired to take a second BA in photography here with us at our city campus. In 2008, she was invited to run the Brighton Photo Fringe, then, as now, a close partner of the university and then she went on to do an MA at the Royal College. 
Her powerful sense of social justice has underpinned Helen's varied career. Asked about the halving of higher education funding for art subjects, Helen told one journalist that this would walk us back 60 years. She said, as far as I can see, they are trying to eradicate the subjects that encourage people to think and the parts of culture that really loudly challenge the system that's in place. Helen Cummock's work challenges us all to think and loudly challenges systems that are left in place through ignorance and oppression. In her work, she has developed one of the most dynamic, engaging, powerful, and purposeful combinations of word, image, and sound in the world today. Helen has, for example, traveled through Italy to discover not only what jazz and blues have in common with 17th century Baroque music, but also at the same time, the laments of women across different histories and geographies and how they express resilience. In 2019, Helen was jointly awarded the Turner Prize, a year when there was just so much talent under consideration that judges made a joint award to the four candidates on the shortlist. Hugely deserved recognition for what journalist Charlotte Higgins has called Helen's trademark polyphonic mix. In a busy career, Helen has recognized and appreciated the creative value of quieter moments. In They Call It Idlewild, she posits the importance of being still in order to feed creativity and to value a space of idleness. She contrasts this with the physical and emotional cost of hyper-productivity required by modern life. In billboards alongside commuter routes, Helen poignantly asks, when you last did nothing, can you remember how it felt? There is perhaps a message there for busy students in the summer ahead. Those of you graduating today will have come through an experience that has introduced you to new voices, different voices, some loud, some less so. It is one thing that universities do best, introducing people to what is new and different and allowing us to reflect on what is universal. To quote again from Helen's own wisdom, I want to change whose stories are heard and whose faces are seen. And I think it's important for the world that that happens, that we understand our communities more. We are complex, the world is complex. And if we only ever hear dominant narratives, we don't understand what's really happening anywhere in the world. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, graduates and graduates, families and friends, in recognition of her major contribution to the visual arts, film and performance, it is my honor to present Helen Kamuk for the honorary degree of Honorary Doctor of Arts of the University of Brighton. I have now the pleasure in asking Helen to address the audience. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Now I'll try and say something a little bit interesting. I hope. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, it's everybody here. What an honour this is, and actually a real surprise. Um, I want to thank the University of Brighton for considering me worthy of such an award. As some people may know, I've both studied and taught at the university in photography. I was co-director co of Brighton Photo Fringe and have worked with different arts organisations in the city, living, studying and working here in Brighton for almost 30 years. I feel very lucky, and I should say privileged, to be able to work as an artist, not because I think it's an easy option, but because I believe it is important that society has artists. There are messages swirling all the time, particularly in the current political, social climate, about our limited value, yet we are vital. 
not only in bringing pleasure, but also in expanding imagination, sharing knowledge, bringing challenge to many norms in society and making space for voices often unheard. As individuals have studied in art and design schools, we also provide people with plates to eat from, cutlery to eat with, furniture to sit on, the clothes we wear, plays we watch, books we read, different car designs, architectural design from the unimaginable to the everyday, increasingly lower impact homes that we'll need to live in. We are often the inspiration for massive advertising industry. It's a well-known fact that many adverts take, steal their ideas from artists' projects. We imagine the paints to paint our homes, the illustrations in our children's books, greeting cards, computer games, the films, cartoons and animations we watch, road signs, billboards, dance, contemporary and traditional, images that we see in magazines and news agencies, exhibitions, festivals, and we are those, of course, who teach. Anything that needs to consider both aesthetic engagement and form in our world benefits from a training in some way in the arts. And as well as aesthetics, we should push the boundaries of thought. So although sometimes you may feel as though you're walking against the wind, I ask you to remember that you are needed and that your, your ideas are valuable. Artists regularly shift fashions, trends, thinking, understandings, and are often inherent in political movements of change. Many academic researchers work with artists now because of their lateral thinking and different approaches. Just last year, study international researchers found that artists, or those educated in the arts and design in some way, are the most desired employees by many businesses and organizations because of their cross-disciplinary approach and their lateral and independent thinking. And I stress lateral and independent thinking. Quite the opposite to the idea of whimsical and flighty impractical artists. I came to art as a second career. 10 years, as you heard, working in the social work setting. And I've managed to find a language to say what I need to say in the world. And as I accept this prestigious award, I want you to ask you all to remember and to keep a few things in mind. That is always important to think about yourself in relation to others. None of us live in isolation. We want to be valued, so it's important to value others. I ask you to believe in yourself. Sometimes it will be all you have in a world that feels complicated and very challenging. We all have our own unique voice, all of us, and only you can know it and believe in it. And finally, to remember that what you do is needed and truly does matter. I congratulate everyone graduating today. It's been a really tough road. I think you're amazing. I don't even know how you've managed it over the last few years, but you have. You haven't just got through it, you've succeeded, and that makes you amazing. So I congratulate you, and I wish you happiness and a thirst to change the world in whatever way you choose. Vice-Chancellor and distinguished guests, thank you for this honour. Helen, I am, we are all so delighted that you've accepted our honour, that you're an alumnus really matters, and that you make such a change in life and you have had such an impact really matters as a Brighton alumnus. You have transformed and illustrated the transformative power of art and the humanities, something we at the University of Brighton will continue to defend in the face of often what feels an extraordinarily hostile environment. So thank you. We will have you back for some lectures, obviously. In the meantime, let me just say, friends and families, you're doing a grand job. Now we'll move to the second half of the awards, and I'll ask Professor Tamar Jeffers MacDonald to continue the presentation, please. Media, Industry and Innovation, Magdalena Sviak. <laughs> 
Sophie Hayes. Verity Hodges. Sarah McCall. Malgayata Novaka. Media and Environmental Communication, Abigail Field. Media Production, Georgia Armstrong Miles. Nathaniel Beard. Lewis Franklin. Rachel Grant. Simisola Ibrahim. <laughs> Ramel Jackson. Anna Lewis. <laughs> Jamila Melbourne. <laughs> Arpan Patel. <laughs> Emma Robb. Oliver Shade. Marco Sidi Guest. Max Stimson. Olivia Sweeney. Media Studies, Eleanor Braddock Hughes. <laughs> India Maya Castro. <laughs> Humphrey Christofoli. <laughs> Kendall Dollery. Joseph Drinkwater. Carlito Dwyer. Jordan Fenn. Giada Ferrara. Tabitha Galley. Yeah. Neve Glennon. Yeah. Francesca Noato. Yeah. Jamie Lee Hanmore. Yeah. Ali Marlek. Sam Parsons. <laughs> Tanisha Peshavaria. <laughs> Eleanor Saunders. <laughs> Chai Su Yang. Reese Williams. <laughs> Moving Image, Regan Ashman. <laughs> Emma Hall. 
Ava Aubrey Conboy. Grace Best. Jade Bradshaw. Theodore Brotherton Ratcliffe. Anne Helen Butler. Also jointly awarded the Nagoya University Incentive Award, Michaela Davis. Edward Hearn. Isabel Singleton. Francisca Viegas Lorenzo de Jesus. Music, Business and Media, Felicia Alsterhead. Luke Burridge. Lewis Foster. Erin Jennard. Charlotte India Howard. Also awarded the Wired Sussex Prize, Jordan Jennings. Lulu Novik. Tegan Shaw. Hetty Alsop. Joy Buse Pick. Isaac Boxall. Charlotte Cornwell. Panayiotis Dexiades. Madeline Dickinson. Woo! Olivia Gallishorn. Olivia Harbour. Woo! Rosaline Harris Davison. Holly Humphrey. Woo! Ruby Kelly. Woo! Flora Longley McLean. Woo! Ella Marie Maud. Emily Pierce. Also jointly awarded the Nagoya University Incentive Award, Ellie Pike. Georgia Skelt. Maxwell Southern. James Stewart. <laughs> Tegan Stone. <laughs> Kit Twamley. <laughs> Caitlin Walker. Sports journalism. 
Joni Ahokas. Dominic Bleakley. Samuel Brady. Jack Bryant. William Bussey. Kieran Coyle. Henry Jennings. Reese Jones. Jacob Masterton Pipe. Ryan Moran. Callum O'Connell. Levi Sparks. Sonny Turner. Cameron Winstanley. Textiles with Business Studies. Poppy Amor Leng. Hannah Bloomfield. Catherine Bowles. Louise Kalman. <laughs> Melissa Daly. <laughs> Ursula Duplock. <laughs> Jaixia Ellis Crook. <laughs> Oscar Emery. Lydia Gravit Curl. <laughs> Kay Hilton. <laughs> Holly Holborn. <laughs> Sadie Haller. Kate Humphreys. <laughs> Carla Loyola Almeida. <laughs> Emily Luxted. <laughs> Madeline McIntosh. Zoe Page. <laughs> Lauren Roll. <laughs> Lucy Tully. <laughs> Natasha White. Layla Whiteman. <laughs> 3D Design and Craft, Noor Mohammed Al Mukhani. <laughs> Kate Buss. <laughs> Madeleine Bostrich. Wing Chang. <laughs> Miles Clark. Yeah! 
Sasha Costalis. <laughs> Kieran Kroll. <laughs> Seb Flanagan. <laughs> Marnie Gillam. Rowena Hambridge. <laughs> Millie Harris. <laughs> Beatrice Hemmings. <laughs> Tom Hepworth. <laughs> Go, Tom! Philippa Hodson. Phoebe Hotoff. <laughs> Indrajit Indiketia. <laughs> Hannah Johnston. <laughs> Adriana Meyer. Nia Miles. Grace Parsons. Emily Powling. Esme Ritella. Inez Sakoff. Dylan Stevenson Wright. <laughs> Maisie Venn. <laughs> Emma Vine. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education Graphic Design, Mia Musker. Brighton Film School, Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Film Production, Isabel Allen. <laughs> Nicholas Augusto. <laughs> Jessica Bainbridge. <laughs> Daniel Baldwin. Tate Batham. Oh. <laughs> Harry Bendel. <laughs> Connor Bentley. <laughs> Leah Beerman. Christianis Bergelis. <laughs> Catherine Blackman. <laughs> Tremaine Brindley. <laughs> Lucy Burton. Gary and Campbell Armstrong. Yeah. 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 Callum Kathleen Miller. Yeah. Olivia Chatfield. Yeah. Connor Cheeseman. Lauren Cisse. Finley Clements. Yeah. 
Freddie Collins. <laughs> Isabel Connor. <laughs> Luke Corcoran. <laughs> Casey Jordan DL. Nick Davis. Finn Duffy. Patrick Ellis. Madison Ferguson. Linus Fielder. Joshua Ford. Emily Ford. Christian Garns. Joseph Graham. Iris Harler. Ruby Gilmore Hamilton. Daniel Herford. Inaz Hussein. Aisha Javeri. <laughs> Freddie Keith. <laughs> Jack Kelsey. <laughs> Laura Kilton. Giovanni La Rosa. Sarah Lakin. Max Lee. Molly Lurie Meese. Nicholas Marrington. <laughs> Natasha Morarera. <laughs> Robert May. <laughs> Esme McLean. Maximilian Mills. Nisha Mystery. Neo Montgomery. Elliot Moore. Ethan Myers. Mira Nagi. Jamie Neagle. Finley Nobbs. Grace O'Sullivan. Charlie Parsons. Paola Pindado Grahal. George Price.
Matt Rayner. Rose Lana Ray. Elliot Reed. Alexander Roach. Indio Rowe. Lucy Rawlinson Payne. Jasmine Rush. Ashkan Sharon Azadeh. Ellie Mae Smith. Mariana Suarez Alfardantas de Souza. Isabel Songa. Jacob Stevenson. Amy Templeman. Oliver Thrower. Luke Tremlett. Stan Trigg. Henry Turner. Jack Walden. Samuel Warren. Victoria Waterman. Abigail Whelan. Jack Wilson. James Young. Gwen Rathbone. Three D design, Stella Wharton. Research degrees, degree of Doctor of Philosophy. In recognition. <laughs> There's only three of us, we don't have a posse, <laughs> and then we can all go home. Or the pub. In recognition Sorry. of a programme of work entitled In the Beginning and Always, an archaeology of childhood found in landscape and photographs, Andrew Cross. <laughs> In recognition of a program of work entitled Horace Nichols, Artist, Journalist, Propagandist, Opportunist, Colin Hardy. <laughs> University for the Creative Arts, Degree of Doctor of Philosophy, in recognition of a program of work entitled Stalking the Atmosphere, Journeys into the Who Peninsula, through a multidisciplinary fine art practice, Anna Falcini. <laughs> the
That concludes the presentations for the School of Art and Media and the Summer 2022 Graduation Ceremonies for the University of Brighton. Thank you. So Helen, I think you'll find that the talent are plenty here at the University of Brighton. It's now my job to close the ceremony. And I'd like to do so by drawing on some words from the late great Professor Sir Stephen Hawking. Sir Stephen reminded us to look up at the stars and not down at our feet to try and make sense of what we see and wonder what makes the universe exist, to be curious. And however difficult life gets, there will always be something you can do and succeed at. And you are brilliant Brighton graduates, so I know that to be absolutely true. I know the creativity that you hold, the energy that you have, the passion that you have, will play an incredibly important role in driving you forward, but also our society forward. So for that, I say thank you to you. On behalf of all of us, I congratulate you on your achievements. And I'd like to invite you to a celebratory drink. It is free. So that will be in the Hewitson Hall, behind, immediately behind this auditorium. But before we can get there, I will ask you to rise and stand while the platform party exits the auditorium. And we'll do so to another, uh, another creative piece of work of a brilliant Brighton graduate. So please stand. <laughs> 